Lizzo. I'm here with this song Slaps and uh, I'm always gonna go harder. What's up guys, this is Keizo at Harmon Style. I just got off the stage, it was amazing. Like, the best experience of my life. Most energy I've ever experienced on the stage thus far in this, you know, Keizo project. And I mean, it's, it's amazing to see where, you know, uh, this is coming in like, you know, the last two years. So, um, I'm just super, super, super blessed to be where I'm at. And so much fun to rock that stage just now. Um, it's not been like an easy road, man. Um, it's been producing for the past, you know, Two years, and you know, it's been it's been a right, it's been a, it's been a learning experience. You know, I've put all my blood, sweat, and tears in this every hour, every hour, like on the day. Um, and uh, you know, we're here now, and it's it's just the start of many, you know, many big things. So I'm super happy to be where I'm at. And, um, yeah. yeah, man, that was probably the coolest thing is to see, you know, when I played a couple tracks, a couple big records of mine, like remixes that. I've already put out that got great support when I got to drop those tracks and hear them, you know, you know, understand what I was going with the music and hear them go crazy. That was the coolest feeling, the most motivating, satisfying feeling, kind of, you know, um, just makes all those hours in the studio worthwhile. So, I mean, that was the coolest thing to drop my own music at a festival and, you know, have a crowd just go nuts. Um, well, my management hit, uh, approached me with the offer, but, um, you know, Headhunters himself wanted someone. Um, a little more, you know, a little versatile in terms of what they produce, um, a couple different types of genres in their sets. So um, I was lucky enough to, you know, be you know, the top guy on this, uh, this board. And, um, you know, once I heard I was going to be opening for him, it was a huge, huge honor, and I was super stoked. So um, yeah, I got the call, you know, from you know, one of the main guys. So it was super honored, super honored to be here right now. You know, since there's already been an explosion with trap music, it's only, you know, it's only a matter of time for things to kind of evolve. And um, with this team, with how saturated so many different genres are and how similar things can sound, you got to find a way to stand out. And one of the ways I like to stand out is, you know, um, like making kind of hybrid type music. Um, so they're blending two different styles together to make something a little different. So uh, what I call trap style is a mixture of hard style and trap. Um, I like to, you know, switch between four and four kicks and then trap eight away beats just to kind of keep things um, always moving and the crowd perceives it really well around here. I mean, and they loved hard style I and mean, they love trap, so putting them together is just a, you know, it just works, it clicks. The guys that I really, you know, obviously Headhunter is one of the biggest, uh, Kuhn, uh, Wild Styles, Noise Controllers, those guys were probably some of the biggest influences for me from the hard style community. Um, but more on the, the side of trap style, um, I have to give it up to Yellow Claw, Looney Tunes, those guys are probably my top two in terms of the, uh, you know, kind of leading and bringing forward that trap style scene. Also, Flash Adonis. I mean, they're probably the first that got me into like the hybrid, you know, hard style melodies and trap beats. So those guys are probably my biggest influences to get me on, you know, on board with this type of music. I mean, I'm always gonna do everything, man. I'm working on like right now, I have like 15 tracks. I'm working on anything from you know, remixes and originals. They're all all different types of styles. You know, I've got hard style trap. I've got dubstep. I've got just pure electro house, uh, big room house, um, little jungle terror stuff. It's kind of something new I'm on. Uh, guys like Ewek and uh, Four DJ Four B, uh, Snake. Those guys are kind of running with that style right now. It kind of you know inspired me to bring that into my arsenal. So, I mean, you can expect everything from me in the future. I'm not gonna stick to one thing. As, you know, as, as much as I love hard style trap, I'm always gonna continue to push myself in different boundaries and different genres, because that's why I got into music, because I love all of it. And even the type of sets I play, I play everything, all types of BPMs, all types of, you know, genres. So, I'm gonna continue to produce, you know, anything and everything I feel right now. Uh, in terms of releases, uh, I've got an original coming up called Crank. I did with uh, my buddy in Australia called Seek and Destroy. Um, we're gonna be putting that out on Cannibal and Records here pretty soon. It's uh, it's a, it's like a big room electro, kind of a dark haunted theme track. So that's probably gonna be one of the next originals. And um, working on an EP right now. Um, got about like eight originals I'm choosing it from on the EP. Um, doing a lot of vocal tracks. Got some vocal dubstep tracks with a an artist that needs a song. Uh, it's amazing. Um, working on some jungle terror stuff. A little bit of everything. I'm really trying to dive this EP down to like four or five tracks of all different styles. So kind of just like. You can, you know, 
look at one page in a book and kind of understand Kazo or be EP and just you know kind of see where I'm coming from as an artist from top to bottom. So got plenty of new remixes uh, and a lot of new free stuff as well. So a lot of stuff in the works. Um, Kazo actually. Um, I actually attended a school called Icon Collective back in 2012, and um, one of my classes was a music business, like a business class, and uh, one of the classes was kind of understanding your identity and your brand, and kind of coming up with some like, you know, some tester names, whatnot. Um, so I was just kind of, you know, diving through different stuff, and I came across my my last name's Capuzo. Um, I really like, you know, I really wanted to have something with like Z and O, like Zo in the back of my name. Um, obviously, there's already Matt and Zo, so I played with a couple letters of my first name, and you know. One thing led to another and Kazo came about. It's just kind of a play on words in my name. Nothing too, you know, deep or special. Just something that kind of ended up being short, easy, you know, and fun. Sure. Thank you guys so much for supporting me thus far. I mean, you guys are the reason I do this, man. I mean, your support means everything to me. It keeps me going to the studio every day. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you to Harvest Style, this song slaps everyone for uh, always believing me in my music. So, yeah. Got something pretty big in the works on Halloween. Uh, Pacific Northeast, East Coast, I'm coming for you guys on Halloween. I can't announce anything yet, but uh, check my Facebook, my Twitter for details coming soon. It's going to be a pretty big night. You know? um, get ready for it. East Coast, coming for you.